everyone. Welcome to this week's Laura's Sketches Reimagined. This is the sketch we are going to be using today. And I am going to go ahead and start something that I really, really want to continue to do through 2021. And that is to get some unfinished projects finished. So this, these are photos from our trip to Colorado five years ago in 2015. And I have the what's where to next collection from Wild Whisper. I have all the photos in the pocket pages. I have so few left to do. So during the coming year, I really, really, one of my scrappy goals is to get unfinished albums finished. I have quite a few here that are just like, they need like three, four, maybe five pages done and then they're finished. So I really, really want to do that. And I pulled these photos, this album out first because it is the oldest to get uh, the rest of the layouts completed. So that might be what we do every week for Laura's Sketches Reimagined. It might not, but you will definitely be seeing some unfinished projects happening. And then as I finish projects, I will do uh, flip throughs of those albums. So that'll be fun. We'll see how it goes, but I really, really need to get some of these albums finished. So I am going to use these three photos. I trimmed them down. They were four by sixes, They, but they would trim down to four by fours. So that's what I decided to do. I know that the way that the sketch calls for photos, it's probably a little bit um, smaller than this. I think the way the sketch is set up, it appears that there are smaller photos, like maybe three by three, but I had these four by sixes already printed. So we are doing it. Okay, I know I want to do a lot of layers of scraps. So I have my photos down and now they're in the sketch, there's layers behind the photos. Um, since my photos go from one end of my paper to the other, I'm just going to go ahead and go through my scraps and grab a few of those. I also have some of the pocket cards. Um, I really loved this collection when it first came out. I did a ton of layouts in this particular album with this collection for a lot of my Wild Whisper design team projects. And now it is time to get this album done. I'm going to go through all the scraps. I'm going to grab the little strips, anything I think I can kind of use to layer above and below my photo. I'm going to go ahead and use. I have two guest designers joining me today. One of them is Misty Murphy. She is a YouTuber. She's, um, I met her through Scrap Happy and she's fabulous. She's such a sweetheart. I will leave the link to her video down below so you can check it out. Um, the second girl that is going to uh, be joining me today is Charlene Griffith, but she is on Instagram. So I will leave her Instagram handle down below so you can check out her layout too. Uh, she actually posted her layout early this morning and it's stunning. So I am voicing over this video on a Wednesday morning. Shh. It's usually done a little bit earlier than that, but for today, that's just how we're rolling. Um, so you saw me there fussy cutting the edges of some of the pattern papers and, uh, fussy cutting those tags. That's just to help so that everything doesn't look super flat because I'm using scraps, but I still wanted to have some things have a different kind of an edge to them. So I will be kind of moving some stuff around, but when I got to this point, I decided I better start gluing stuff down. So I am just trimming up this kind of decorative edge I created from this scrap of paper. I am kind of tucking everything under my photos. I generally do not work with a dark background like this. You guys know that, but I really liked this one. So this is from the masculine paper pack from Wild Whisper. I always enjoy Wild Whisper. Well, you guys know that too. I always love my Wild Whisper collections. And you know what? Because of the way that they um, design them, I don't even care that some of them are a little darker than maybe what I would normally do. Um, so I'm going to, yes, I'm going to fussy cat all of the white, <laughs> big white borders off of these die cuts. They just have those really thick white borders that I personally um, don't like. 
just feel like they can be a bit distracting. So I am going to pop up this camera with my big mama roll of foam tape. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a, just a little saying beside my camera. I'm thinking about one of those cute little globes, but that's actually gonna come in a little bit later. Uh, I'm just gonna go through all the die kits here, decide which ones I think I can kind of fit into this upper corner. I decide on this little quote die cut for up beside the camera and then I also feel like I want to add a little something more behind it so I'm gonna flip through the die cuts again and I'm gonna settle on well not settle because I actually really like it but I'm gonna grab one of these suitcases in this bright pop of yellow because I felt like that bright yellow is going to really kind of lift up all the colors in this uh, layout I I tried to add that in little pops throughout the layout. More clusters across the bottom with a little bit more of that yellow. And then I got this cute little like ticket branding strip from one of the papers. And I'm gonna place that across the middle of that yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Say Yes to New Adventures as my title. So that's gonna move the title. I did that because that one is like brighter and whiter than the darker one at the top and it works better as a title. I'm gonna go ahead and here's where I'm gonna add that cute little globe. I'm gonna tuck it like right into that little space there. So the part of my photo I'm covering up is just the railing that kept people away from some of these older style carriages. This layout is from um, a museum that is in Colorado Springs, Colorado. It has like all these old Buffalo Bill carriages and um, it's like a transportation museum, I guess. Um, but it's really, really nice. There's a lots, of, lots of like really just fun, unique things to see in there with cars and stuff. My husband was super, super excited about this museum. That middle photo is him with the museum curator. The museum curator actually like let him like pop the hood on a couple cars and they had lots of like long conversations as I wandered around <laughs> looking at other stuff. Um, so that's what my little bit of journaling that I'm gonna do is going to be about. Um, so I have this little smaller area down at the bottom. I'm going to put my journaling there. That's actually where the journaling is in the sketch, I think, if I remember correctly. I don't have the sketch in front of me, sorry. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's where the journaling is in the sketch. So I'm going to add my journaling right there too. Uh, but I'm going to kind of cluster up a couple things before I do, before I add my journaling. For journaling, I'm going to use a couple of these Nicole Jones 911 printable uh, journaling labels. These are so awesome. I bought a couple sets of them in different colors, printed them out, cut them out, and I love a good label with some journaling lines because I don't like to try to write without lines. And I also like to have dedicated journaling spots. So super excited about these and I love, love, love them. I bought this little acrylic jewelry holder to hold all of these cute little printables in from her shop. So super, and I'm loving that. It's right here. It's totally clear. I can see all of my printable stuff. So I am finding myself more inclined to go ahead and grab from that than going and searching for them. So I'm just going to hear my journaling down and the last thing I'm going to do is grab some of this gloss acrylic spray from Ranger this is the white and I'm going to do some liberal splatters so all I did was cover my photos I didn't care if I got white splatters on the different um, elements in the clusters but I wanted to have a nice amount of splatter. This is going to break up my dark paper. Uh, and because the Wild Whisper collection is white based, it's not going to look odd or off because everything has that little bit of a white background to it, like a bright white. So having the splatter is actually um, really nice and it really broke up that dark background. Um, and I love how it turned out. 
And that is where we are going to call this one done. Here are all of the close-ups. I hope you all have a fabulous Wednesday. I have a really special video for you tomorrow, a tutorial using some amazing new products from Spiegel Mom Scraps that I'm super excited to share with you. And um, Friday is 80-20 with Natalie. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye.